What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we have been getting several comments of people asking us what type of wood stove we use to heat our home. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Skeeter's waiting to go outside. He knows it's time to go feed. Uh, so guys, what we have here, this is a Harman wood stove. We've had this thing since we built our house, new I think in 2017. Um, we do have an electric um, central heat and air, but when it's, you know, 45 or below, we usually try to heat with wood because we have all these extra trees around and with all the storms that roll through Oklahoma, you know, we don't like to, to waste the trees. So we cut it up, split it, turn it into firewood, and that's how we heat our home when it gets cold. And uh, Skeeter likes to go outside and play in the snow, and he likes to come into the nice warm wood stove, don't you? You ready to go feed your brothers and sisters? You ready to go feed everybody? He says, you gonna let me feed today? Yeah. You wanna go feed? Well, come on, it's Patel Mojo. All right, so that's it, guys. That, uh, that's how we warm our house, and let me tell you, it warms our house. Awesome. All right, oh, the like kid was waiting on us. He said, hey, Dad, that wood stove looks awfully nice. He said, let me get some of that heat. You ready to eat, Bubba? Huh? You ready to eat? Oh, I bet you are, huh? Let me turn this wood stove down real quick. I had it cranked up. Let me turn it down here. So, yeah, this is a Harman wood stove. This stove is rated to heat, like, I think 1,800 to like 3,000 square feet. And our house is somewhere in the middle and it does an awesome job. So, we got a little bit of snow last night. Um, it's about gone now. There's another shrew that the cats brought up, but you can kind of see the uh, snow is just about gone. Are you gonna come eat or not? I gotta go get your food first. All right, so I'm gonna try to answer a couple questions today. Uh, I think we just answered one. Um, we do not have a fireplace. We actually have a wood stove. And let me tell you, these newer wood stoves are very, very efficient. Now there's some that's probably not efficient. Um, most of them are, you can kind of do your research. Now, you guys seen I had a fire going in the house, in the house, that thing was going like full blast. I'm gonna zoom in on this wood stove pipe. And tell me, do you see smoke? If I can get it focused here. So they say on these newer wood stoves that are supposed to be really efficient, when they are working at their best and you got it all dialed in and your you know your airflow and your setting and all that on there just right you will not see smoke come out of these once you get a fire going and uh there you go so that that's the perfect setting now every once in a while you'll see a little smoke and stuff like that it's not real windy right now so it's not just blowing it away you'd still see it if it was windy but that is uh that's that's how it's supposed to be i guess you should Quit Gavin and go get my food, Dad. Okay, 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 I will, I promise. I'm gonna go get it right now. Well, I'll talk and walk at the same time. So another question we've been getting is, everybody wants to know how the windows turned out on the rock cabin down at the lake. So here, as soon as I get done feeding, I'm not gonna have a super long video because it's pretty cold out here. Um, as soon as I get done feeding, I'll take you guys along with me and we'll go down to the lake. I needed to get some measurements on the door because i got some wood i got some lumber and i'm gonna try to make a uh batten board door or board and batten batten board whatever you want to call it like they did in the old days um i don't know how i don't know if it's gonna turn out okay or not but we're gonna try because the door frame down there you guys know it's concrete and rock and the door frame um is not your standard size door so we can't just go to lowe's and buy a door that'll work down there we're going to make our own and what we are using for the lumber are these oak slabs now these are all different diameters um we got some that are like six and a half seven there's some that's four and a quarter four and a half so i'll try to video that whenever i get to that point um it's cold there's not a lot to do outside right now so uh what better time than to start working on the door something that i can actually work on the inside and i'll i'll probably just set a camera up and i'll try to record some of that uh i'll talk more about the door and all that when we get down there here in just a few minutes i gotta get these animals fed some eagle said quit talking everybody's cold they're hungry it's important that everybody gets a good meal on their belly and these chickens are waiting on me she said i don't want to put both my feet on the ground 
The ground's too cold. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that's what's going on today. So uh, like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you guys um, clicking on today's video. So let me get some buckets. We'll get some feed. Go see what the animals are up to. Make sure that they can uh, get to their hay and everything okay. Because it is cold. Everybody's going to be sleeping in the barn and appreciating that straw that we put down. Especially tonight. Because this, uh, this is pretty cold for November in our area. So... So yeah, we got we got about a half inch of snow this morning, and all those snows not uncommon in November. We've had it twice now this week. And uh, if you guys follow any of the other Oklahoma channels um, on YouTube, some of them did a persimmon test, you know, where you can take a persimmon, cut the seeds open, and it'll either be a spoon, a fork, or a knife. And this year, just about everything I've seen was a spoon. So that means a lot of snow. He says, I like the snow because I like to roll in it. He likes to play in the snow. He loves the cold. Come on, squeak. Come on. Get on, little doggy. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the colder it is, the more energy Mojo gets. He absolutely loves it. Skeeter, leave him alone. He loves it. All right, let me feed these uh, noisy goats real quick. And the geese. There's Park Pack again, of course. He's barking at Skeet. <laughs> what do you see over there? He's just barking. I'm coming, guys. Hold on, though. Let me get your goats fed. No jumping on the feed bucket today, please. Oh boy, clear the way! Alright. You go. The shadow you have your own feet is over in your... Here, go back to your feet. Go to your feet. Here you go, not a bird. Okay. That's very rude to eat on the ground. See that goose? Just like, go away. <laughs> Alright, big man's waiting. Big man's waiting. Boy, that north wind is cold. No, I forgot my gloves in the house. He says, you don't need gloves if you got a fur like me. You're nice and warm, aren't you? You got your big heavy coat coming in. Yep. Them cats love sleeping on you, you know that? He said, yeah, I get tired of it. He 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 likes it for a little bit and then he does get tired of it. Smeagol's eating with the chickens, of course. Ready? Okay. All right. All right, Yoshi, you know you guys got any complaints? So, let's walk over here real quick. Um, I was gonna tell you guys in the last video and I forgot. But ever since we put the straw in these barns, the emus have been sleeping with the goats. And you know, they're already friends, they're already buddies that were raised with the goats and the geese over here. Because we put them over here since they were like, maybe six weeks old. We started them off in this little uh, turkey pen. They've been running loose ever since and uh, they get along with the goats. So here's where they've been sleeping. You guys can see the straw. We got all spread out. They have access in here. So this wall is, uh, faith, you know, that's north. So all this blocks all that cold wind. So you get, you gotta get all the dogs some egg while I'm in here. Who's in here? Keep hearing somebody. Keep hearing somebody. Ugh. I put too much straw in front of the door. Who's talking? Huh? Are you talking? Oh, your door's closed. I better leave your, uh... I don't know why that chicken around door closed. I guess because it's so dark today. Here, I'll leave your door open. So you, got, so you girls can come out. Come on. You guys can come out. Whew. I don't know why that chicken around door is closed. It is pretty... Well, it's not that cloudy. I don't know if it just froze open or what happened. Batteries might be out. I'm not sure. 
We'll just leave it open for now and they don't have to worry about it. All right, I got the dog some eggs. Let's go get Mojo some eggs real quick while he's still eating his food. And we'll get some to Cora and Leesky. Thankfully, thankfully, we do not have any babies due anytime soon. This is a part of farming that is never fun when you have babies in the cold. That's never fun. Here, you want an egg? Hmm? You want an egg? Here you go, buddy. You still got some food left. All right, I'm gonna go feed everybody else, okay? He's gonna steal your food. <laughs> you better get back. Don't mess with Big Mo's food. Hey, you gotta leave him alone. Y'all got food. Go eat your food. There's tons of food on the ground for you guys. All right, Mo, I'll let you be, buddy. Don't let them in eat your food. All right, Skeeter, who's next? Who's next? Not Boris. <laughs> hey, I didn't say bring the chicken. I said, who's next? You're just having fun now. Uh oh, look what I see. Hey, 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 quit. Skeeter found it, I guess. Oh, you busted it, buddy. We'll have to use this pretty quick. This is one of the duck eggs. This one isn't to eat. You did find it, though, right? I don't know how I didn't see this earlier because look, it was laying right by this baseball. <sighs> but yeah, this is one of the Cayuga duck eggs. They're supposed to be a lot darker. We'll see it at springtime when they first start laying them for the year. This one is cracked a little bit, but it's still good. Um, I'll go put it in the house real quick and then we'll go get some feed for the other dogs and goats. Look at this. Smeagol, what are you doing up there? Get down. Now you know why we can't have anything nice because the ducks and the cats and the turkeys they all like to get on my truck the ducks like to get on the concrete never ending with these animals all right see you guys back at the other barn okay before we feed the other animals let's go ahead and start the tacoma up and we'll drive it down to the lake Ooh, that wasn't good i think i just squashed some more uh sure I did. Just made an omelet in the side of my car heart, I think. Maybe not. Wouldn't be the first time you guys ever made an omelet in your uh, pockets. It's pretty common around here. Usually it's in the summertime while I'm wearing like cargo shorts. I, I usually use buckets, you know, like in the wintertime and I just went in there real quick and I had these handy dandy pockets in my car heart jacket and I just threw them in there luckily I don't think I squashed any getting in the truck but don't know we'll find out in a minute that's their waiting on them they're always good when it's time to eat or just when you got goats because you walk outside they're always screaming feed us feed us no matter what no matter how much you ever feed them it's never enough Right? Uh oh. Leesky has something. That ain't good. I seen that, Leesky. Looks like the dog's got a hold of another chicken. That's never good. <sighs> Wish we could get him to stop doing that. Moncora, Leesky! Come on! I know they're in trouble. Cora, Leesky! Not you, get. Cora, Leesky! I see you with that. That's a big no no. Oh boy. That's not good, man. That's not good. That's not good at all. Here. Alright, goats, come on.
the checkbook hey. Excuse me. Oh yeah, they still got lots of hay. Still got lots of it. Did you do it or Leesky do it? Huh? Which one was it? Mr. Leesky? Huh? Come on, Cora, come eat. All right, so, uh, this, this, this is gonna lead to a uh, little teaching lesson, I guess you can say. Um, you seen Leesky has the dead chicken. Uh, I could reach down there and grab that thing and uh, get rid of it. But me and Rachel, we come across a uh, video earlier this year where another farmer had uh, tried to go in and get a dead chicken or maybe a dead baby goat from some livestock guardian dogs and he actually got attacked by his own dog. Um, when it comes to stuff like that, I know some of you people ain't gonna like this, but uh, the deed's already done, the animal is gone. If I took it from him now, I'd just be wasting it. So I'm gonna let him go ahead and eat it and uh, on the con side of this, the bad part of this that I, why I should take it is because letting him have it is uh, kind of like teaching him it's okay to do that for their own food. You know, it's like that saying, uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I don't know, what do you do? <laughs> I, we don't have a perfect answer for that but uh chicken's gone so might as well let the dog uh, benefit from it and Smeagol's out here eating with Cora so I don't know that's the first time I've actually seen Leesky with the chicken usually it's Cora and at least he's just laying by him but I don't know like I said guys there's always a uh, all these decisions to be made on the farm on stuff like this um, this isn't the first time that's happened Usually if I see them with a uh, chicken or something that they got, I'll usually take it from them. But I don't know, this time I'm just gonna let them have it. So, all right, so we are done feeding for today. Everybody's got water, everything's good. They got hay, fresh bedding. So uh, I'll meet you guys down at the lake cabin or the rock cabin. I don't know why I keep calling it lake cabin. Meet you at the rock cabin. Okay, fast forward a few minutes, we're down here at the lake. So this is the first time you guys are going to be seeing the windows and the question I have to ask myself is did I make a mistake and uh, rush into putting these windows in? I know several people said those are too small, you are wasting a lot of light and several of those people including my wife said you should have waited and got bigger windows. But I'm telling you I looked and looked. Um, I couldn't find any around. I got online to look to custom order some. You can custom order any size window you want, but you're gonna pay out the wazoo. And after all, this is just a rock cabin. So it's not a house, nothing like that. Um, it is what it is. It's done for now. If we wanna change them later, we can. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what the finished product looks like of the windows. And we're still waiting on the roof. I'm still uh, trying to find someone that can help me put the roof on. It's a certain type of roofing that I've never dealt with, so I've got to get some help on it. But here you go. This is a finished product of the windows, and we'll walk around. I went ahead and trimmed it out with cedar, and yes, the black frame windows, so that is what that side looks like. And there's a bunch of scrap I've got to get rid of. And I got to measure this door entry another uh, time. I brought my tape measure down here. Let's go over here on this side and take a look. I've been digging a hole right here, whatever that is. So this is this side. This is the east side of it. Just 
trimmed it out in a rough cedar and then I put a pecan stain on it. Now this is a, a, a type of pine plywood. Um, I don't know what it's actually called, but I like it okay. Um, I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. The water is uh, looking very chilly today. So let's go on over here and see if you guys can see this. This is the south window. Hopefully it turns out okay and it keeps the water out, keeps the varmints out and all that type of stuff. And then up here, of course, we do not have a window for that. I cannot find a window that size. So in the meantime, what I might end up doing is uh, just getting a piece of plexiglass or something. Now, a lot of you viewers that watch our videos have awesome ideas. One thing that you guys have been saying is that we need to get some stained glass to go over on the front where that little triangle diamond looking thing's cut out. But um, I kind of think I just want to fill that back in with the native rock, this flint rock right here make the mortar and all this and just fill it in and uh, just close that up. I don't think I want to put a window or a vent or anything in there. So I think that's what I'm planning on doing as of now. But up here, how awesome would that be to put a stained glass on this side where the sun is going to be shining a lot? Um, you know, even if it's just plexiglass or a normal window, you're still going to get some pretty good light out of it I don't know if the stained glass kind of holds back the light or not I think it does but I'm not sure but I think that would look cool up here if it had stained glass over here on the lake side um, I think it'd look really cool and then trim it out to match the rest of this in the same type of cedar I don't know decisions decisions uh, the possibilities are endless here's the problem I need a window or a piece of stained glass as it, that is like 24 inches by 24 inches just a 24 inch square pretty much I've been looking online I was looking on Etsy and stuff some of the cool ones that I've seen are running like six or seven hundred dollars um, I don't know is that normal for stained glass and the only bad thing about that is, is, uh, you know, what if these vultures come back and try to fly through it or bust it or break it or something like that? Then we'd be all that money, we'd have to redo it. So I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Gotta make decisions on that. But this is the front that I was talking about closing back up. Just go ahead and finish in the rock and the mortar all the way up and just closing that in, just make it a wall. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. That's what I'm uh, kind of aiming for right now. But the next project that we got to do is we got to build a door for this thing. And I showed you guys in some videos back how this is all rotted. So all this is coming out. I've already got treated two by fours to replace it somewhere. Yep, they're right here. So got treated two by fours. I'm fixing to rip all this out, rip this whole door down. Don't it won't shut anyways. And then I'll reframe it in with those two by fours, the treated ones and then hopefully try to build a uh, board and batten door. And I'm sure some of the old timers that watch our videos, if you've been around a while, you grew up, um, if your parents or grandparents had a place like this, you probably know what a board and batten door is. It's a little bit different. A lot of people don't make them anymore. A lot of people just go to Lowe's and buy your pre-manufactured doors. But like I said, in this case, I'd have to custom order a door that was shorter and all that. and I think a board and batten door would actually look pretty cool in here, so we'll just have to wait and see if I can do it. Um, i got to figure some stuff out. Do I make it go inside the frame? Do I just put it on the back side of the frame? I don't know. I'm not Like I said, guys, I'm not a furniture maker or a carpenter by no means, but I, I know enough to try to get things done, and uh, that's where we are for now. Uh, you guys can see you got all the decking on, got all the rafters on. This thing is starting to come along one step at a time, and I appreciate all of you that has uh, taken an interest in our videos and been watching our farm life, been watching the build down here at the rock building. I think it's really cool myself to kind of sit back and watch my videos of us turning this back into a functional building. It might not be 100% original to what it was 100 years ago, but uh, some of that's kind of hard to do. And I can only imagine 100 years ago when they put windows in this thing that 
I don't even think, I bet they didn't even have actual windows in here. Um, this was supposed to be like a smokehouse. So I don't think they would have had windows in here. I think these would have just been rough openings in the concrete maybe. Maybe some kind of vent or screen or something. I really don't know. But uh, I don't know, so subscribe if you're not subscribed, stay tuned. I'm gonna head back home, go finish checking on the animals before it gets dark and uh, start planning on making this door. I don't know if it'll be in a video soon. It could be the next video. It might be a couple weeks from now, but I am gonna try to start uh, doing some research on uh, the type of door I wanna make, how I need to do it and uh, all that good stuff. So first thing I gotta do, like I said, is rip out this frame, reframe it, and then we can go to town on the door and uh, hopefully I'll video all that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you and we'll see you on the next one.